Hey guys, it's Millie. So in today's video, I thought I'd get ready for you all. Um, I've literally just woken up like 10 minutes ago. Um, I thought I'd quickly get my light on, get my phone out and film a video. I tried the Bondi Sands tanning milk, um, everyday gradual tan. So good. Sorry if my voice is really croaky. I've just woke up. Use that. I'm going to let you know how it is um because i'm a pale ghost so i need a little bit of help these days mac strobe cream um i've got like the golden shade but all of the shades kind of work for me but i really recommend this if you're ever going to get one product that will last that will like be an all-round all-year kind of product is this it makes you glowy like this is all i've got on my skin right now it's unreal i love it um and then i've just started doing my eyebrows with the nyx precision brow pencil in ash brown um but yeah i'm just like brushing them up been enjoying them growing them out and just going for the more rugged look recently as you can see uh thank you for all the support on my first video i got a few lovely messages so thank you um if you haven't already just hit that subscribe button and um comment down below other video ideas you want me to do by the way i will not link i will write my instagram down below give it a follow and yeah so just always check the description behind my eyelids i'm going to use the huda beauty the overachiever concealer um it's really full coverage so if you don't really like cakey things um i wouldn't recommend this for your actual like face i don't really personally use it on my face because it's really full coverage and i don't really like that look but um i'm going to use the shade um tomorrow i'm gonna to do a vlog because i'm going to london with ellie may so um i'll film that for you guys and i'll try and get that up either that day or the next day um now for eyes i'm gonna use the morphe james charles palette guys this bangs like no other palette i love it i mean it is a bit big jesus like who needs that many colors when i'm doing people's makeup i can just bring this palette and then i've got all the colors i need um, so I guess that's where he was going with it. But the M524 brush. Um, so I'm just going to pack on this colour here. And I'm just going to pack that all over the lid. I can't believe Christmas and New Year is over already. I had such a good Christmas. Um, just with my family. Um, the dinner was really nice. <laughs> my favourite part, now I've got a bit older, my favourite part of Christmas is just the after bit like where you eat of course um and you just kind of chill with your family play games two years oh it was a great it was a great night didn't end too well but it was a great night um we had a little party around my sisters um which was great i loved it um I prefer, like, I've always on New Year's been with my family and just, like, chilled. And then this year I went around my sister's with um, one of my friends and we had the best time. Like, it was just great. We let off some fireworks. I had a really good time. And now I'm just sad that I'm just counting down the days when I have to go back to the hellhole. I'm going to be doing um, a few, like, lookbooks. So, yeah. And it's my birthday coming up, so that's just great. So I'll be get, doing like a birthday get ready with me and stuff, so. A bit of this colour here, so the orangey colour, and then this colour, dark colour up there, just to deepen this crease. Like I proper was a little vlogger and proper took it seriously. I was actually like, I've got my free Wi-Fi so I can upload and post some social networking videos and um, check my social networks for some new posts. Um, cool story. How many people now edit their photos, like, as in edit their bodies? And it's crazy to me. I'm literally, like, looking at it thinking, is that a real body? Like, is that your body? Like, wow. As I've got a bit older, I've realised it's all bloody fake. I'll upload a picture and I'm literally, like, take down the brightness of my picture. I'm like oh my god oh my god i've committed a crime the brightness of my photo and i've catfished everyone like i'm so sorry i feel i literally get anxious i'm literally like i've taken down the brightness like one percent 
and I think this is a bad idea. And you've got people out here legit using Photoshop to edit their body. Thank bloody God, because that would be... <sighs> I can imagine if people got into it, they would just be addicted. People feel scared to like go out in person and see people and be like, God, I don't, I don't look like my pictures. It bloody terrify me. I don't really like all that. I just want to post a picture. If people like it, they like it. But like, don't get me wrong. I always have a full face makeup on or um, at least some sort of like brightness turned down or like contrast turned up, but never editing my face. You sit there like you're editing a video and you edit your body. To be fair, fair play to you, it's a skill, I wish. But you just see people and you're thinking, your like waist is like that and then your bum. I mean, it always confuses me. I get a bit confused. Um, but yeah, anyway. One thing I've been loving watching is Backchat London. I've watched it for like quite a while, but um, this season I've really got into and, oh, it's just jokes. And escorts and really like controversial things. And it's, I find it so joke about body count and stuff. I find it so funny because some of the people get so offended on that, but like that's their job to like t discuss these issues. I prefer doing makeup on other people at the moment. Doing makeup on myself is so bloody boring. London tomorrow. Um, I don't know where to go. I wanted to go to like a really nice cafe and get like an acai bowl or like um, avocado on toast. Never tried it. I'm trying to be like an Instagram baddie right now, but uh, I'm a bit of a fussy eater. Black Batman went out. Bloody yeah. Um, I wanted to go just for a matte look today. So that's why it's quite dramatic and not like shimmery. So now that I've done my eyes, I know they look a bit crazy, but once I've got my makeup on, trust me, it'll be fine. Um, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Supermodel Body um, Cream. I look worse when I'm doing my makeup than I actually do before it. It's actually bad. Who's got into TikTok recently? I haven't. I haven't made a TikTok. I haven't made any TikToks. And you do actually get really good looking boys on there, by the way, guys. Like, there are some hotties doing TikTok dances. And I'm a bit like, oh, it's 50-50. It's like, really? Like, like, when they're just like this. Are you literally trying to kiss your phone? Like, what are you doing? Like, sometimes they do find it really, they think it's really attractive when they're like licking their whole face. Um, but it doesn't really draw me in. I'm sorry to tell you guys, but no. <laughs> and you go girls that are like really good at TikToks. I can't do them, so I'm just gonna sit back and watch you guys. So, for foundation, because we just need to cover up this tin ball, um, I'm using the Max Studio Face and Body. Um, I actually got this when I went to Morocco. That was a while ago, is this? No, it's fine, last year. An N3. It's a bit pink, but um, it's all right. Anyone wearing earphones, I'm so sorry. <laughs> really lightweight, like it hardly has any coverage to it. Um, whereas I find like when people wear like heavy foundations, you can just see it on their skin. It looks great in pictures, but just sometimes in real life, it can just look a bit cakey. So when I'm doing people's makeup, I tend to use this foundation. Um, and if they have a foundation they want me to use, then I'll use that. But um, I'll just mix a bit of this in with it because natural face makeup anyway. Like the eye makeup, sometimes I can go extra on, but... Yeah. I just thought in this today, like today's video, I'll go a bit extra with the makeup. Um, but I will do like an everyday routine. Not that I put makeup on every day, but you get what I mean. You know Molly Mays, um, everyone... There was a video, her get ready with me, was it her get, or her makeup routine. She used like a really dark foundation. Everyone was going at her. That's me, that's me. Like if I've got like fake tan and I don't fake tan my face, that I'm Molly Mae, that is me. Um, So I don't really know why everyone's getting at her, but yeah, I get it was dark, but I mean, yeah, it was a bit orange, but uh, sorry. Honestly, people can't give that girl a break. I actually feel sorry for Molly May, I'm not gonna lie. Why am I using concealer? Honestly, what is going on with me today? Winter Love Island is coming soon. Oh my God, I am buzzing. Honestly, I think 
this time it might be I'm just scared to see how these next few years plan out with Love Island because I feel like a lot of people are just getting irritated at irritated by it now and I feel like a lot of things are so like anything anyone says is like so amplified now um it showed 13 in the revolution conceal and define foundation um but yeah just because I've got a really light base like this is literally this is nothing on my skin so I just want to warm it up a little bit but I'm gonna get in the Molly May scandal now Jesus nation brush and I'm just gonna start blending this out as I've got a bit older, I'm looking more and more ugly. I cut bloody six inches off my hair. Didn't really help. Don't look any better. I look like more of a granny. My face, I don't know what's going on. Teenage days are just, just hurting me. I'm gonna use Huda Beauty, um, Pound Cake, that's the shade. Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. Today we're going full tangerine. Mac, give me some mineralized skin finish. Bam. The Oompa Limpa is out. Do I actually care? Do I care now? Do I care? <laughs> I'm joking. No. Um, simple answer, no. Okay, so um, now that I've done that, I'm just gonna add a little bit of highlighter. I'm just gonna use this Chloe Fairy Cosmetics. Um, highlighter palette, mascara. Usually I'd apply lashes if I do this like dark makeup, but um, I just don't really want to. Um, but I've literally got like, I don't think I've got many eyelashes, so I need all the help I can get. Now. Um, it's from Maybelline. Oh wow, really rare for Maybelline today. Sponsorship, I'm joking. Um, it's in the shade Almond Rose. But I'm just going to lightly line them. Anyway, um, last but not least, I'm going to use the Kiko Milano Clear Lip Gloss. Bacon, please. Yeah, but I want bacon. Oh. I want bacon. That is the final look. I thought I'd go from zero to 100 full on catfish. I hope you lot enjoyed this video. Like pictures of makeup i've done in the past just follow my instagram down below i'm um, i've got a makeup account makeup by mills and i'll put it down below so if you want to go follow that then you can just see an insight into whenever i post makeup um pictures and videos and repost this and share with all your friends if you can um but thank you and make sure you subscribe love you lots bye